Anna, does I guess just your thoughts on being going through this again and kind of being back and and what you want to to get out of of this season for you? I think that this is such an exciting year. So we have a uh, some great freshmen coming in, a new transfer. So we're just figuring out the pieces, but it's so exciting just with everything in Louisville this season and having the ABCA showcase playing Wisconsin that first game. So there's so much hype around the season. We're really just excited to get going. It, it, for both of you guys, starting with Anna, going off of that, having that showcase to kick things off, uh, the game of volleyball continues to grow, it seems. And uh, for you guys to kind of play a key role in that here in the city, what, what does that mean to you? I mean, it's just so awesome. I think they had it a few years back and just to kind of bring it back and have some of the best teams that could be the final four in December. So we're really just excited to have that competition early on. Our preseason is pretty challenging, but we're ready for it and we're just excited to get going. Yeah, and to just have the games at the Yum Center. We all love playing the Yum Center. We don't get to do it very often, so um, we just love enjoying the fans, seeing all the big crowd of Louisville is awesome. With the league expansion now through obviously new teams in, uh, what do you know about them? Uh, obviously Stanford's pretty good, you know, kind of talk about them. Um, I always just think it's great to have some new teams to play, some new, new cool places to go to. So adding Stanford in there obviously is going to be exciting. Just we know how good they are and they've been so great in the past. So we're really looking forward to having them join. Yeah, and just like she said, the places we get to go, California is awesome too, and just having them in our arena is just going to up the level of the whole conference, which is awesome. Anna, making your return back here, uh, it's got to be special for you to, to have another go around. Just talk about what went into that decision making, and ultimately, uh, now that you're here, what that impact is going to be for you and for this team as well, having you back. Yeah, so looking back on it, it was a while ago when I kind of decided I didn't want to do it too soon, but I really knew I wanted to take the fifth year, especially with it being in Louisville. I don't think I could turn that down. So that was awesome. And just with like all the COVID year and then I had an injury that took out, like, I never really feel like I had a good, like healthy full on year. So I knew I really wanted to take it just because of that. And just to keep everything in line for the season, I'm really just looking forward to hopefully ending it with a bang and just <laughs> really going out there for one last time. For both of you, the start of the year at the Yum Center, the championship's going to be at the Yum Center. Does that put more pressure on you guys being the home team that it's going to be played in your, quote, unquote, your second home? We talked about this a little bit. I think it does bring a little bit of pressure, but I think we're all excited to feel that pressure and just excited for the opportunity, I guess. Um, so we talked about that a lot, and I think that's really helping us in the gym helping us up our level of play and just get better as a whole. Yeah, I agree. I think we, we're trying to make it kind of the elephant in the room because there's so much talk about it. We're trying to be open to those conversations, just kind of get used to it so we can kind of get our minds ready and know that that's going to be how this season's going to be. And obviously we want to be there. So just finding the ways to make that happen. And I think for me personally, it's kind of a motiva motivation. Like we really want to use that as a motivation for our whole team to get there. So I think it's a positive, but also a negative too. Danny's touched on this before, but just having premier programs in volleyball, you guys are really ascending into that category, into that conversation. When you look at the brand that is Louisville Volleyball, does it seem like, at least from your perspective, you guys are at that upper echelon at this point, and what makes you guys that way? <laughs> um, I think just from 2021, I, I see Louisville as just such a great school for volleyball. I think – that's kind of developed over the years, which is really cool, and it's awesome to be a part of it, awesome to be a part of this team. So, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I mean, I remember the 2019 game when they took tech, or they beat Texas to make it to the Elite Eight, and that was like a real moment for me before I got here. I was like, wow, the, this program is already doing so great. I just can't wait to see how far we take it. And just over the years, we kind of worked our way up, and I think we're about to do for a natty here soon, so <laughs> we'll see. Players coming in, players leaving. Who do you think you're going to miss the most from last year's team? And who are you really looking forward to playing with this year? It's coming in as a freshman. Um, I mean, obviously, we had great uh, seniors last year. That left us. I mean, um, Iko obviously played a key role in her six years at Louisville. So losing her is definitely losing a lot of that senior leadership and experience. But um, we have – so many great freshmen, talented freshmen that are really bringing the level of our gym right now, raising it and being really competitive. And 
I'm really excited just to see how they fit in and how they help us get to where we need to be. Yeah, I think she touched on all of the four seniors were so awesome for us last year, and I go just her voice. We really miss that, but a lot of people are stepping into that role, which is great. And then, like she said, the four freshmen and Sophie have been really awesome. They just fit right in, so it's been great for us. I guess along those lines, do you guys kind of consciously take on more of a leadership role, or is it something that just kind of happens organically? I think it does happen a little bit organically, but, you know, Devere's obviously been a big leader for us, but I think some of us that are getting older, Elena, Kara, all of us have really, you know, made an effort to step into those roles as well. So I think it's a little bit of both. Anna, you said it, it seems like a long time ago that you made the decision to, to come back in that time and now in preseason. Your thoughts on what you've tried to accomplish to a get better but b also to kind of go out with a bang as you said and and you want this to happen what i guess what have you tried to do as far as skill wise or different things and then emotionally what's this year going to be like yeah so i think there's always something i can improve on so i've really just tried to up my leadership as well and just try to be a bigger voice on the court leading by my voice and action so that's kind of something i've been trying to work on and then obviously just being consistent. I think if we can have some consistent upperclassmen, um, that could really take this team very far. So that's kind of what I've been working on and just really trying to work on jumping higher. Now that I have my brace off, that's been a really big goal of mine is just to see how I can up my level of play now that I'm basically healthy. So that's been really exciting and that's kind of what I've been working on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.